remiss if we didn't talk bonds for a sec. So I think that's a very thorough look at the chart for the S&P. Talking bonds, you're looking at the chart for the 10-year, of course. We all are. Can you give me a minute thought here on bonds and how this plays into the situation? <laughs> Normally, when you and I talk, it's all stocks, right? But I had to talk about this today. Well, you know I like the bonds. A, I appreciate that. Well, it's just such a giant level that yeah. we're at right now. So the chart that I brought actually shows that this 425 to 433 area in the yield of the 10-year, that level goes all the way back to a peak back in June of 2008. Okay. And then we came back and... <laughs> Um, retested it in October of 2022, right? Which is right when the stock market was making a bottom, right? Mm, yeah. Right there. Um, and now we're back there again. So 425 to 433 in the yield of the 10 year. If we get through there, and I don't mean for a half an hour on a Thursday, but if we start trading above 433, the next level, 523. Don't say it, John. <laughs> 523. 523 is the next level. And you know how the bond market trades, right? It will basically put you to sleep for three months. And then it'll and all then happen. Bam, bam, bam. Yep. And we have two or three weeks and it's 70 or 80 basis points. That is that is my fear here that we start trading steadily above 533 in the 10-year. If that happens, I think that's going to put a lot of downward pressure on the stock market. And that's when you really have to start looking for that test of 4200.